Look at this guy, parked on the street. Thanks because he's got his four ways on, he can park wherever he wants. It's probably a no parking zone. There's a sign right there that clearly says no parking. Okay, Spencer West, good afternoon. Jake Clement, good afternoon. I would just like to point out that he was saying that I was parked in the middle of the road and in a snow stopping zone. And there's two things that I would want to say. It wasn't in the middle of the road, it was the lane. And it was a no stopping zone. But who was I waiting for? Oh yeah. The guy behind the camera. Oh yeah, maybe me. Not just me. <laughs> What are we doing? Now we are driving to the Eaton Center because I need to buy some books because here's what's happening. We Day is coming in less than a month. And we're doing Between Two Stools again, so all the interviews. And I think it's really important for us as individuals to grow is that we need to challenge ourselves. And I'm not a great interviewer yet. So we're going to the Eaton Center to buy some books that someone has recommended to me, all full of interesting questions. And then I'm going to a cottage this weekend and we might need a giant floaty to lay in a river on. What are you going to do on the floaty? Like right now, my plan is to sunbathe and read. But like, who knows? We'll see where the day takes us. So are you going to uh, get drunk and fall asleep and get a terrible sunburn? <laughs> I told you that's a mistake you just make once. <laughs> <laughs> I've just recovered. <laughs> so what Jake is alluding to is a few weeks ago, I went to Cuba with a friend. They had a lounge chair that was built into the pool. I lay down, I fell asleep. I didn't bring sunscreen. I woke up, everything was burned. Burned so badly that my entire top half fell off in layers. It wasn't good. Ew. Yeah. That's so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spencer West, Spencer West, where are you? Spencer West. All right. So I'm at Indigo, and there is an elevator, but it's broken, and we need to get upstairs. So I have a secret way. Come on. There's a secret bridge. We made it into Indigo through the secret route. Now I'm gonna use this computer to find out where the books are. Also, fun story. Last time I came in here, I was looking for this amazing book. I'm like, I'm so excited. Can you tell me where it's at? And the guy was like, that's in the teen section. And I was like, thank you. It's for my nephew. It wasn't. Spence, do you like green eggs and ham? <laughs> I do. Okay. Is today your birthday? It's not my birthday. One fish, two fish, red fish. What comes next? Blue fish, but you said fish wrong. Story of Spencer's life. Yeah. Spencer, would you rather be a bullfrog? Sorry? Would you rather be a bullfrog? Uh, no. Oh. So we're not looking for a Dr. Seuss book? For the last time. Put those away. <laughs> bookstore, Whoa, bookstore. Really I found Jake's book. Did you know he was an author? He is. Oh, <laughs> sure, bud. <laughs> So the jerk behind the camera said we should find this book in historical fiction. No, we <laughs> found it in biographies. Ta-da! Probably a good spot for it. Uh, um, uh, two foot seven, I don't know if you fit in that one. Huh. Not saying that was the case, but... Okay. Much better. Great books. I'll just leave that there. Alright, so we only got one out of two. The book of questions. The, the book if, I'm gonna have to order somewhere else. Now we're gonna go see if we can find a floaty. Preferably a flamingo or maybe a pineapple. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, floaty update. Yeah, so we've, we've found some. I just have to, just, they've got a poop emoji. No way. Like maybe I'll get that. Are Can you feeling like that? a Superman or a Batman? Oh, what's the Batman? Oh. I feel like the Batman would hold more people. Oh. Serious oh floaty consultation going on. He decided yeah. to phone a friend. Yeah.
Excuse me, sir, you really shouldn't have your noodle out in the store. Which one? Say it again. Maybe you should get this thing in case the lake's really cold and you lose your balls. <laughs> It'll help you find them. You're a jerk. <laughs> so here's what's happening. I'm thinking of getting this for myself. And it says for ages 3 to 10. So I'm looking up the average weight of a 10 year old because maybe I weigh that. And right now Google says as a measured percentile an average child, for example a 10 year old girl, would be 74 pounds. I'm 86. So you're you're you'd be pushing the envelope for I sure. I probably would. So I gotta you, find something else. I think you should go like Batman or Superman. Like I want to, but there's it doesn't look like there's a way to tie it off. Like we want to oh, tie right. it to a tree. Oh okay. Okay, I found what I needed. I'm going with a little kid boat, and I got my friend Simona something else. That's it. Now we're gonna pay and go to the car. We're getting ready to go. We wanted to film something, but we didn't want to look like dirtbags in H&M. I needed underwear, and I'm gonna let you in on something. If you've seen some other videos, do I wear pants? You know that I do wear pants and underwear, but I, had, I have to buy them in the boys' section. Ages four to six years. H&M, thank you for making that size. So, we also bought underwear, but we didn't want to be gross. So that's, uh, that's our day. We're excited for Wee Day, we're excited to I'm excited to grow my question skills, and as always, you're my new best friend. Call me every five minutes. Bye.